This is Doug from Tenno Game Club, and this is Budget Backlog, where we play games that are under 20 clams and can be completed in your extremely precious spare time. And I'm here to tell you about a great throwback action RPG that is a remake of a game that came out on the Sega Master System way back in 1989, called Wonder Boy and the Dragon's Trap. You are a nameless boy or girl that has been traveling Monsterland, scouring it for the monster's castle. Your foe when you arrive at the castle is a menacing dragon, dreaded throughout the land. And this beast has a surprise up its sleeve for you as it besets you with a terrible curse. The story of Wonder Boy is fun and simple. It keeps to the theme of self-discovery as you traverse your way through the world trying to break the curse, all the while unlocking hidden power from within. The fun and colorful art style of the remake is a great update to the old school graphics from the original and imparts fanciful feelings as you roam Monsterland. There is an included retro mode as well that allows you to swap at any time to the old Master System graphics. What a difference the updated graphics make. A ton of times throughout I found myself swapping between the two styles and noticing how much more detail is shown with the new graphics and at times they even help clarify puzzles that may have been much harder in the original. The music has been updated in this pleasing remake and does a great job of evoking a very whimsical feeling and is vaguely reminiscent of walking around a renaissance fair. Again included in the game is a way to swap to the old music and sound effects at any time. This is a great addition and allows you to play the game almost exactly as it was in the past. The fun metroidvania style gameplay for Wonder Boy is simple and precise and definitely feels classical in its implementation. You traverse the land, searching for bosses to defeat, which unlock new forms to play as, which, in true Metroidvania style, allows access to spots in previous areas that were unreachable before. Swapping between the forms can sometimes be a bit of a pain, but since they are a mechanic that brings variety to the gameplay, I think we can forgive the sins of the past. These various forms aren't the only things in your repertoire either, as there are consumable attack items throughout the game that can help you target angles your flame breath or swords cannot reach. Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap was very fun and made me feel extremely nostalgic over how far we've come in gaming. While being a fairly short game, coming in at 4-6 to six hours, it was well worth the time and the money. Thank you for listening. Have you played Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap? Did it leave you with nostalgic feelings too? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you back here for the next Tenno Game Club review.